Yo, how ball are running at this? Yo, jump hill, YouTube, walk on people. We've been having some crazy weather in Jamaica in the last couple of days. And to be honest, we're never sure any ball game I can run this weekend. But just like the Jamaica versus Canada match that I play uh, while it's record as we speak, the show must go on. Because the league now knows nothing apart from the Thursday matches that were postponed. It seems that the match week 5 is fully on. So let's get straight to it, people. Match week 5 preview starts now. It's Sunday, November 19. My earth strong. I'm going to start with Lime Hall at home to Cavaliers at Jacks Hall, 1 p.m. This match now seems mismatch on paper, but we still believe that Lime Hall, despite them poor results and where they're missing their table right now, they're better than how the results are showing. You know, The problem with Lime Hall is that Lime Hall is unable, them just, it's impossible for them to score, it, it seems. They really need to find out if they get some goals. That they need to cut out some of the defensive errors as well, but the biggest issue they have is that they can't score to save them life. It, it, them, I'm not sure how they're gonna fix it. Maybe some transfers have to run, but they need a goal scorer if they want to stay in the league. In fact, out of the four games they played so far, they only scored one goal, and that one goal was from a penalty. They lose another six pointer last week against other fellow new side, Trader Beach. So they need some points, especially at home. You have to take points at home but it's not very easy for them they will play to me what i consider the second best team in the league right now which is cavaliers cavaliers are coming to this now let them on farm all of them play a disappointing one all draw with waters in my mind but they never played the midweek match because of the postponement so they're supposed to fresh and ready for this game look out for them for run up the score upon lima if possible if they get away in their first half then we'll run up the score but it'll be interesting to see how, how Lime Hall try to stay compact and organized and still try to sneak some goals because Lime Hall have to win their home matches. So again, that is Lime Hall versus Cavaliers. 1 p.m. Draxal. So then once a Draxal, you know, it's a double header. So the defending champions, this is probably the game of the weekend. The, the defending champions, Mode Pleasant, will be at home to Harbor View at 3 p.m. right after the Lime Hall game. Mode Pleasant. Why them look imperious? They win all them matches so far, full points taken in all them games. Them goals are flow. Man like Chung and Kimoni Bailey have scored goals for fun. The defense don't look so bad either. Can anybody stop them? Why well, have you have an informed Bradford on their side, right? Them the main striker Shaquille Bradford is informed, but have you can defend for save their life. So have you have a defense issue apparently. There are two all draw against Humberland last weekend. And it's a game you think them could have done better and them should have win, but they make some transition goals happen against them in the run of play. So to go to more players and who have some informed attackers, it's gonna be interesting to see how have you try to keep it tight at the back but still score and supply Bradford up front. Why but more players and looking in Paris, ball are flow. And even though they're going to lose some players this weekend, in fact, they lose, they lose a lot of players this weekend for international duty all around the Caribbean, we still think they have enough depth to try all out against half of you. But I expect a high scoring match in this one. We talk about the predictions later. But again, that's more pleasant versus half of you. Draxal, 3 pm. What we have next now? Next up is Portmore at home to Malines. I said it in the first review show, for much week one review show. Now watch how Portmore get beat up by more pleasant. They're a better team than that. I may expect them to be in the running come the end of the season. And they've been showing in that after the rest of them games. And they easily dispatched and done all in, in a Portmore derby last week. So Portmore looked like they might run into farm and looked like they might be their top top table come the end of the season. Plus, they have some three new strikers who all played. Well, not all played, that's a few of them played in last Portmore Derby with one of them scoring on them debut. So look out for Portmore for it grow, grow even stronger. Once again, there will be a Fernita Park. I can't see visitors, Malines United coming and causing any trouble. Malines are struggle, right? And they will be fighting hard to avoid relegation this season. Malines are trying to keep it, they, they not really get blowed per se, apart from the one game against Arnett. But just like Lima, they have a slight problem scoring, but they are better at it. So, but my lines, we're going to come into this game and hopefully try to keep it tight and nick a point 
or a victory of Portmore. But I don't see it happening. Portmore should win this easily. So again, that's Portmore versus Malines at Fernita Park at 3 p.m. Next up now, Treasure Beach. Once again, the new boys at home at Stets versus Dunbar Holland. Treasure Beach now, who will be buzzing from their first victory against Lionel last week in the league. We will hope to do one better again at home. And as I said in the Lionel game, as a newcomer in the league, you need to get points at home to stay in the league. And Treasure Beach will be facing a hapless Dunbar Holland that is free falling. Dunbar Holland are, are shocking at the moment. I said I was praising them, saying them played not so bad, but their performance last week against Pomer in at the derby nonetheless was really disappointing. And Lenny Hyder for really getting them on them up for the game. Them, this is a must win for Dumbo in my eyes. You can't go to the new boy Shredder Beach and not think of getting three points. They are sitting at near the bottom of the table and yet to win this season. So they have to take this game serious and look to take points over Treasure Beach or well, again will be full of confidence after them win Treasure Beach won't be easy enough they've not leaked goals Treasure Beach is not leaking goals they may not be scoring enough but they've not leaked goals so this might be an interesting match for watch out on Sunday 3 p.m. next game though it's supposed to be Montego Bay versus Arnett but it's been switched around to Arnett at home to Montego Bay because of the issues in 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 Mobile and a state of emergency so we're going to Anthony Spalling complex so Moby will be on the road again. That's four games out of five on the road for them. You know, that's a bit it's a bit hard uh, start of the season for them, especially with some of the newcomers in the team. But they've been catching a bit of form lately. They kind of put it together. They're not been playing so poorly lately, and they were hoping that the team continue to gel and help boost them up the table. This match will be at 7 p.m. in Arnett. Uh, Arnett though. Speaking of disappointing derby performances, it was absolutely disappointing in the West Kingston derby against Tivoli. We can't understand how they come out so flat against Tivoli at home. They have to rectify this. They yet to win at home all season. You know? right? They play better on the road it seems, but they have to rectify them defensive mistakes that they normally have at the back and have helped the, the strikers feel comfortable and go up and score some goals. They'll be at home again and they have to give them popular fans Right, the numerous fans something to cheer about at Anthony Spalling. This is a chance for them. And Moby seem to be a little bit struggling on the road. So Arnett have to take advantage and make this be the first win of the season. So again, that's Arnett versus Bontega Bay United at 7 p.m. Anthony Spalling complex. Now the Monday night does, you know the Monday night are the big thing. Stadium East, which should be dry. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully the feel everything should dry out for Monday night. Tivoli buzzing from them, them guard to derby win. Be at will be at home, but you know, Stadium East versus Humble Lion. Who people? Humble Lion, you know, for we think Humble Lion is underrated. You know, for what for this to go side, you know. Humble Lion is undefeated so far. Them this a sneak by people and people not realize. People think Humble Lion are going to have a view and get smacked. Then come over to that 2 2 draw and them, um, them try win the game there. It could have easily be 3 1 in their favor. So Omelai would be no pushovers. Tivoli, who, as I said, have a good attack, right? They will look to Justin Dunn again for score some goals. And despite them getting struck by Veer, has played well all season. Beating Waterhouse, beating Arnett. So this, this could be an interesting game. Tivoli should not think so Omelai will be an easy match at all. We can easily see this being a draw, but we'll get to the predictions later. So that's Tivoli versus Omelai at 5 p.m. at Stadium East. In a nightcap, Waterhouse once again have finished off the night and weekend. They'll be at home, well, Stadium East, versus Vare United. Vare is also a team that shouldn't necessarily be slept on. They were putting some good performance. It's a team that have a breakdown. But Waterhouse, they again, their strength lies in the attack. And you, you can look for them top players to do well again. Waterhouse will look to Johnny Vay and Brian to lead the attack again. And we feel that in their last games against Cavalier, they seem a bit, I don't know, disjointed. I was surprised how disjointed they were. I think they should have looked to take that game against Cavalier last week instead of a point. So they look to rectify this at home to Veer. We see what I was having majority of possession in this game. So they have to find a way to unlock Veer. Right? They need to get Fletcher back into the swing of things. He look off again last weekend and amongst some other players. The strength lies on the left side of them and them attack. So let us see if them can break down Veer. 
So that's Waterhouse versus Veer at Stadium East, 7.30 p.m. All right, prediction time. But yeah, my heat and my heat and miss on some of these. I'm not gonna be honest, but you know it's all for fun. I'm all at home to Cavaliers. I think a 3-1 Cavalier win. I'm seeing 3-1 Cavalier. I give Lime a chance to score a goal. Right? But Cavalier should easily win this game. 3-1. Mode plays him versus half of you. Boy, this is gonna be interesting. Half of you. We feel half of you have a score. But they can defend against this powerful more players inside. What helps half of you here? The more, more players will be missing a lot of players. So, as I said, 2 1 more players than over half of you. In Portmore, my lines, but easy, easy, easy for Portmore. We believe this should be 3 0 Portmore. Anything less than that, Portmore should be disappointed. This will easily be 3 0 Portmore over my lines United, I feel. Treasure Beach versus Dumbo Holding. Boy, Dumbo need a win. Dumbo Holding need a win. But we feel I'm not going to find it this time either. Expect a dull 0-0 zero, zero here, I feel. I feel it could be a treasure be 0, then we're holding 0. Alright, Arnett at home to Montego Bay. Boy, this one is the most intriguing one and hard to call. Montego Bay need a win in front of them fans. And Montego Bay, I think, are getting better. I feel like this might be a one-all draw, Arnett versus Montego Bay. Monday night, Tivoli versus Umberline. We feel this is another two-all draw. Umberline is a good team. Tivoli is buzzing and in the attack are looking good. So look for a two-all draw between, between Tivoli and Omerline. As for Waterhaus versus Veer, Veer at defense is sturdy, while Waterhaus sometimes can look disjoint in attack, especially if Fletcher is not clicking. So look for a one-all draw again for Waterhaus versus Veer. That's it, guys. That's what we have today at, for Match Week 5 previous show. Sorry it's a bit late. You know, the whole heap of weather and things are going, and we're never sure if the match them are going to play. But the show goes on, guys. So support the regular boys as much as you can. Well, the match is currently playing as we speak at the time of recording. And then come out to Sunday and Monday for support your local football. That's it here from Jampiel Fan. Please subscribe and like and follow so we can keep this thing going. Alright? For all things Premier League, you know you keep it locked right here. See you, people.